Bill is the exact same drill that we just did with the watermelons. Instead of doing two feet at the same time, uh, now we're just alternating. You do left and then you do right. You do left and then right. Uh, same sort of thing. Stay nice and level. So next drill, um, another inside edge drill. We're focusing on inside edges again. Um, we're gonna do the same, exact same drill that we just did, uh, alternating uh, left leg and then right leg, left leg and then right leg with inside edges. Uh, the only difference now is you're gonna stay really wide. Last time we did a C cut and the feet came back together. Did a C cut with the other leg, feet came back together. Now your feet aren't gonna come back together, they stay nice and wide. And we're gonna do it with a hip rotation. So my belly button was always facing forwards, my toes um, were curling but my hips were always facing forwards uh, in the last drill and now this time you're going to alternate between left leg and right leg C cuts but your hips are always turning as well. With that drill we focus on uh, turning our stick because our stick is always our steering wheel so stick always turns first. On the forehand side I always tell the kids to fold their hands over the very tip of their hockey stick should be pointing to their target so as they're turning their stick they're turning their hips um, the order is not stick and hips, but they almost happen at the exact same time. And then on the backhand side, arms pop away from the body and you turn your hands so that the tip of your stick points to where you want to go. On the forehand, on the backhand side, pop away. Hold, pop away. Next one, very similar type of drill, inside edges C cuts, your hips are going to be facing forwards and uh, we're just going to rip out as many inside edge C cuts as we can, uh, so it should be really quick, so quick inside edge C cuts. Alright, uh, next one is the same uh, inside edge quick C cuts, only now we plant our, our inside heel into the ice. When we plant our heel, one of the most important things, if you can look at my feet, is you're not resting on your outside edge or your inside edge, but you're resting right in the flat blade, so right in the middle. So when you lift it up, you can actually still have the ability to slide a little bit forwards, even though your weight is just into your heel. You don't want to be on the outside edge or the inside edge, just right in the middle, so right down on the flat blade. one was quick inside edges uh, with a heel plant. We're doing the same heel plant, only now instead of making them quick, I don't want them to be quite large. one we're doing the exact same type of inside edges as what we've done before only now we're on one leg last time we lifted up our toe to plant our, our heel into the ice and this time the legs actually going to go behind us so when it goes behind you the leg that you're on stays bent the leg that you're off of uh, that should also stay bent and it goes behind you uh, so directly behind you all right on that same one the main focus is to distribute your weight across down your leg, all your weight goes down your leg, into your foot, into the heel specifically on the, on the, uh, in the boot. I always tell the kids, lift up your toes inside your boot and really press into the heel. So when you press into the heel, um, again, you get a good strong grip. Um, so inside your skate, uh, your heel presses right into the ice, your toe is barely touching the ice, and you're distributing all that weight through into the ice giving those roots that you need, giving me that grip that you need as well. Last one was a quick uh, one-legged, single-legged, inside edge heel pushes. Uh, the next one we're doing is a large. So uh, with the quick ones, we held them for maybe one second. You're on your foot for one second. This one, try to hold them for at least two seconds, if not three seconds. And uh, there should be a larger hip rotation as well. So here's what it looks like. On that one, uh, we have two different types of cuts in the ice that we're going to be making. The first cut is you're holding your C cut, and that's called the grind. So when you're grinding, you're placing all your weight into the heel, and you're holding the inside edge. At the very end of the C cut, you want to now distribute your weight, not from your heel, 
and out into the toe. So the first one's a grind, the second one's the rip. If you don't do the rip, then you don't push onto the next stride. So when you do it, you'll more or less just be stepping from left to right. So when I do it, you'll hear the grind at the beginning and then the rip. Grind first, then the rip. And when you're ripping, just like you're taking a regular stride, you push off on the toe, distribute your weight to your other leg, and then push off. The louder it is, the better it is. All right, last one of the Inside Edge Going Forward series of drills is uh, the same thing we just did, only now you should be sitting down so low that uh, while you're on your right leg, you're gonna be able to easily touch the ice with your left hand. And while you're on your left leg, you should easily be able to touch to the inside of your body onto your right. Main thing is you should be able to easily hear uh, the distinction between the grind and then the rip. The grind and then the rip. Next one, we'll use a puck uh, just as a guide mark. 